The Scholler family grew their YouTube channel to 700,000 plus subscribers using just a cell phone. And as you can see, they are growing fast. And now they're headed towards the 1 million subscribers mark and they're just now starting to play with different tech for their channel. And if they were able to garner that type of success using just their cell phone, then you absolutely can use your cell phone in your earlier days to go ahead and get started on YouTube. Hi, I'm Mary Stewart. And if my opening didn't convince you, Anthony from Content Creator says to use your cell phone until you're ready to invest $1,500 into your equipment and your gear. But now I've given you evidence that you can have a thriving channel with just your cell phone. The truth is your first videos are going to be far from perfect and there's no denying that. So now let's talk about the essential equipment that you will need to get started. You need a cell phone, tripod, or a box to stabilize your phone. You'll need a window for natural light and you'll need editing software like iMovie or CapCut. In the event that some of this technology goes away, then hop on Google and find an alternative. We're not gonna get stuck and not create because a software company goes away. So in the prep phase, you wanna brainstorm titles. So once you have those titles, go into YouTube, pop those titles into the search to see which one of those titles are popular on YouTube and start to notice that a channel with the low subscribership but high views, those are the type of videos that people are searching for. After that's all done, then you wanna hop over to Canva or a software similar to that to create a scroll-stopping thumbnail. Next, you wanna to prepare to record. On your cell phone, pick the highest resolution and then set your cell phone up on the tripod or whatever makeshift thing that you created and press record. You wanna make sure that your head is positioned at the top of the screen. For your earlier videos, you're going to be using the internal microphone on your cell phone. So make sure to speak loud and clear to ensure good sound quality. And don't worry about making mistakes or stumbling over your words. Just pause, repeat what you said, and in post-production, you can take all of that stuff out of your video. Now that your video is created, it's time to edit your video. In the first round of edits, remove any filler words like uhs and ums, and also remove any distracting sounds like lip smacking and smoke detector beeps. In this round, you'll also remove any long pauses and repetitive content. The goal here is to make sure that we have a clear and concise, value-packed video. In the next round of edits, you can add text to enhance viewer engagement. You can add text in places throughout the video, such as the hook or any other place in the video where you want to add an extra emphasis. Now that your video has been edited, head on over to YouTube Studio and upload your video. Next, you'll add the title of your choice, a description, and then your video will be ready to go live. Now that you have published your video, set a goal to improve one thing in each of your videos to ensure that you're gonna have a successful channel. I'm going to go deeper on this strategy in the next video and I will see you there. Thank you.